My name is uh, Weilin Ye, and I'm one of the music teacher at Mulgrave School. Welcome to our grade four and five uh, spring concert play. Before we begin, we'd like to acknowledge that the land we're gathered on is the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Coast Salish peoples, especially the Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, and Musqueam nations. Please turn off your phone and avoid exiting the theater before the end of the show, please. Now, let's get the fun started. Please welcome 5SC to bring this majestic creature to guide you on a journey of sound and emotion that will leave you spellbound. So sit back, relax, and let the owl lead the way.
We hope you enjoy our show so far. Hope you had fun with this tongue twister, this tricky alliteration and faster paced rhythm. Now, we would like to move on to a different nonsense silly song, a Dutch one. Saras Banda, hope you enjoy it.
Thank you to 5B for their fantastic play. The next song we're gonna bring is called The Gift. And it's composed by an indigenous musician, uh, Russell Wallace. Russell is a member of the Live Wild Nation and composed many songs based on this format. I, I would like to quickly share a story of my own about this song. It all started from a memorable experience I had last summer with uh, some other music teachers in a workshop. When we were learning the song together from our instructor, Laurel Farshaw, we were asked to join the song one by one and eventually sing together. And the, each layer, when they're added together, it resonates within the whole room. And at that, in that moment, it left us all in the same emotional state and just united by the power of music. This feeling of music together without saying a single word was truly powerful and profound. So when I was sharing the story with the students, which is, my students are a little bit shy, I guess. <laughs> Coming up, on the stage, on the stage. So when I was sharing the story with the students, I can see the wonder and, and, you know, and sparks in their eyes. They're like, oh, what do you mean? What do you mean by it? Like it's sharing this in the same moment and just like sing together and having that <gasps> passion together. So at that point, that's when I decided to pr provide them a chance uh, to feel the sound resonating in this whole room with everyone involved and feeling the power of music. Also a chance for us to understand the process of musicking in indigenous ways of learning by watching, listening, and accepting all gifts are good. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So I would like to invite you all to join me and our choir to sing this amazing piece, The Gift.
Thank you for singing with us. That was fantastic. It's always good. Next, we would like to bring a fun piece that was mainly designed by the students. The mochi song draws inspiration from traditional Japanese process of making mochi and uh, a traditional clapping game that involves collaboration and trust among participation who must maintain a consistent rhythm. We've decided to merge acting, music, and game all together. Please welcome 5S to present Omochi yo Tsuki Mashio.
This is a grade five band. And we meet twice a week to play music together. Learning to play an instrument is not only a fun and rewarding uh, experience, but it also helps you to develop skills such as teamwork, focus, discipline. Well, let's say one of the most memorable parts about with this particular group is they love listening to stories, all kinds of musical stories. And I love sharing them because it gets them quiet and focused all the time. Um, well, gladly, it's near the end of the year, and uh, because I don't have any more stories to share. Uh, that was just a joke. That was a joke. Okay. Uh, I like working with all of you, and uh, it was a great year working with you all together. It was really, really fun. Thank you all. Uh, please welcome the Great Five Band to perform. Hey, we can play. Next, we're going to bring a piece called Tinikling Dance. The Tinikling Dance is a traditional Philippine folk dance. It is known for its lively and rhythmic movement accompanied by the sound of wooden stick or tinikling. Some say that it mimics the tickling bird uh, dodge bamboo traps set by the rice farmers. Our students have been working hard to learn some Filipino while practicing the dance. And we're excited to share this with you. Please welcome for us to perform to Nickling Dance, and hopefully they don't get caught in it.
This is an intermediate choir. And we meet twice a week to sing music together. This is a group of energetic singers who love singing so much. And they sometimes even ask for additional rehearsals during lunch recess. I started working with, the group, with this group um, uh, around the past November. And oh my goodness, what an amazing group. Personally, I want to say thank you so much for inspiring me every time. And uh, I'm constantly amazed by the level of talent and passion you bring to each rehearsal. It's fantastic. Uh, your music truly touches everyone who hears it. And I'm so glad to be part of this choir with you all. Today, we would like to bring a very beautiful piece called Sisi Ni Moya. The Swahili title means we are one. Meaning all human beings uh, have much in common. Just before we perform, I'd like to also point out two very important helpers in our group. Mr. Amir Fishman, our director of outdoor education, who is also a fabulous drummer and our pianist, uh, Miss Faye, who help us all the time. Sisi Nimoya, hope you enjoy it.
We hope you enjoy our show today. Before we finish our concert today, I would like to say a few thank yous. Thank you to the JLT, Ms. Uh, Karen Mitchell, Ms. Janet Hicks, and Ms. Shanaz Ramji, and our Performing Arts Director, uh, Ms. Sarah Burston, for your guidance and support. Thank you to the facility and the event team uh, for helping us to set up the concerts over and over again. Thank you to Mr. Scott Zegner and uh, Victoria Bell for helping us with tech, light, and sound. And thank you to Mr. Kennedy for filming. Thank you to Mr. Clayton, Mr. Jason Kennedy, uh, Ms. Amanda Brooks, Mr. AJ Matthews for being our stage crew and runners, and all the teachers who helped us make this happen. I want to say a big thank you to Ms. Faye, um, our performing arts unicorn. Thank you for being everywhere and helping us with everything. I could not run this without your time and efforts. Plus, it's so fun to work with. Uh, last but not least, I would like to say thank you to all of the parents. Thank you for coming today and uh, continue supporting our music programs. Now we would like to finish the concert with a fun song. And this is a song picked by our singers and they've been waiting so long to share this. Revolting Children. Thank you. <laughs> You're not revolting children. You're, no, it's okay, it's all good. You're not naughty. So, thank you very much, Mr. Yee. What a fabulous concert. So nice to see our grade fours and fives enjoying themselves as we do, you know. Um, I know that there was lots behind the scenes that happened, so thank you to you and your team. And we have a little gift for you, Mr. Yee. Some fermented, some fermented apple juice will help you. Yeah. 
Um, it's always a wonderful thing to see our children singing and, and having fun, and the amount of learning that happens in our music classes is incredible. You saw the different music being played, the beats, the drums, the xylophones, the sticks, the bamboo sticks. All of this doesn't just happen, and there's lots that goes into making sure that our children are learning, and what a wonderful job you've done for this concert. Thank you so much. Thank you also to the parents who've come. It's so nice to have everybody here. Um, we are a little bit, um, we have 10 minutes until our recess is over. So if you can just mill about, I know a lot of you parked in the back parking lot, but you can't leave until 10 o'clock when the recess is over. So um, you can make your way out there, but we just can't have any rolling cars um, in the back parking lot. So um, thank you. Um, this time of year, it always makes me a little bit sad because it's getting close to the end of the year. And uh, to see our grade fives do such an amazing job uh, on stage, it's our last spring concert with our grade five students and I, that always makes me sad because they're moving on to the middle school. So anyway, just a bit reminiscent um, about our time um, with these children. And um, I just wanna, s I know that the parents are feeling a little bit that way too. We have lots to celebrate. This is the beginning of our end of year celebration and uh, we look forward to seeing more of you in the next month and a half. So thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you.